Croatia and Latvia did amazing things. I mean, they moved from lower or lower middle income to upper middle income in a far shorter space of time. Yeah, we'll go back to some of these. What I'd like you to focus on is on the right-hand side of this chart. Now, look at what happened. If you look at the solid dark bars, that's 1996. In 1996, Malaysia's GNI per capita was higher than Brazil, Gabon, Mexico, Turkey, Latvia, and Croatia. Okay, that's the dark bars, 1996. In 2008, which is the white bars, all of these countries overtook us in GNP per capita. So today, your average Brazilian, Gabonian, Mexican, Turk, Latvian and Croatian earn more than the average Malaysian. I'm going to stop there and think for a moment. And I didn't want to put South Korea or Japan or the US. Those are, those are part of the course. But think for a moment. These countries in which we snigger which we perhaps even look down on are today richer than us on a per capita income basis. What does it mean? The average person in these countries live better lives than us. And the more obvious ones, of course, South Korea, Chile. Well, Chile is not so obvious. Chile was at the same per capita income as us in 1906. Today, they're at 9,004. We are at 7,000 same bracket as us. These are all countries that today remain, we're all together in the family. I think what we're trying to show here is among those of us which, who are middle income, how are we doing? The competition to become high income is a race. Clearly, I don't think we are, we are getting our act together quite yet in this form. Lastly, I think even if you take a broader measure, which is not income per capita, if you take the Human Development Index, which measures, which includes adult literacy, life expectancy, education levels, we clearly could be making better progress. If you look at that again on the left side for a moment, I think countries like Albania, Brazil, Malaysia, Romania, Russia, we all move from middle to to uh, high in the first five years of 2000, 2000, 2005. If you then look at the right-hand side, the bottom set of lines, uh, you know, we've progressed, but others have become better at us. I mean, Romania overtook us in terms of, in terms of uh, HDI score. Uh, Albania and Russia are still kind of there. But what is surprising is that who would ever thought that countries like Cyprus, Greece, Qatar, Slovenia have a better human development index compared to Malaysia? Which clearly means, I mean, these are countries, again, that we hardly factor. These are countries in which people, your average adult, chances are, can read or write better. Education levels are better. Life expectancy is better than Malaysia. And they've all made that transition from uh, the, the developing country's threshold is 0 0.9 on this scale. In the last five years, they have achieved developed country, first world country status in terms of quality of life. And I think Malaysia is nowhere close to this. So I do apologize for, for, for adding to the, to, the, to the very depressing state of affairs. But, but I think if you know, Muhammad Mulia Tanku sort of gave the overall picture, I think here is the hard facts in terms of where we are. Right? Now, uh, we can discuss this later on, but I want to stop here and, 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 and uh, uh, you know, and back to you. Hopefully, we can talk more during the Q&A. Thanks a lot, Omar.